Hi YouTube, it's Jody, and it's the end of day two of our scrapbook weekend retreat. And I thought I would stop and show you what I created for day two. It was as productive as I thought it would be. And I thought that I would start with um, this layout here, showing my grandbaby's uh, one month, what he looked like after one month. And those little embellishments up at the top, I used those clear, round, acrylic uh, circles, or kind of rubbery. And I cut images out from the paper pad that I was using. And then I also have a cute little doily die. I think it comes in a set of three, maybe four dies. And uh, the word baby, I already had that in my stash. I had the stork in my stash, and I still need to do journaling, saying what he was doing at one month old. And then since I like layering, you can see I have a lot of layering down at the bottom, and so forth. So this was a two-page layout. That was the, the first page. Here is the second page where I carry on the theme trying to stick with similar papers so that everything will coordinate. I am kind of a matchy-matchy type uh, scrapbooker. And again, I used three embellies in the bottom right corner this time to kind of um, go with a two-page layout. So there you go. That's how it looked in the end. Okay. All right. So next up, I decided to do his two-month layout. And for this, I also need to do my journaling. I need to do journaling on all of these monthly layouts, but this is how this one turned out. And um, I decided to use my ruler, uh, what would you call it? It helps tear the paper on the edges, so I layered it with two coordinating papers. I stuck with the gray and the navy, since that's what he was wearing. I had this embellishment in my stash already, but I did add a stork charm to that. Had um, my two-month journaling spot. Added some buttons for some interest. Layered some borders on the bottom. Since he was holding a bear, and that's what I brought to him at the hospital when he was born, so that's kind of has sentimental value. I found a blue bear die cut in my stash, so I thought I'd throw that in, as well as some fun little plastic embellies down there, an old fashioned stork carrying a basket with the baby, and I had an old, old stamp that I finally uh, put to good use. So this is how that layout turned out. I'm really enjoying getting all my pieces together <laughs> from the beginning. So that seems to be working out really well in making kits. Here's my next layout of the day. And it's a two-page layout. So this is for when my grandbaby turned three months old. And this was also fun to do. I uh, thought about what he was wearing, the navy blue, the light blue, and a little bit of red. It says hugs across his jammies. <laughs> and so I knew I wanted to try and stick with those colors. So this was very fun to do. Here's the first page, a little close up there of the border, used some embellishments some uh, enamel dots for color, used some buttons, and even had a very old uh, children's feet stamp. Or no, it wasn't stamp. It was a, a, a punch. And those uh, clothes pins are super, super old. So I finally put them to use. And I love borders, and so I had some fun with some borders down there. Wanted to continue the border theme in the upper part of the second page there. 
and had three photos, decided to round the corner and mat them and this fun border came in the same pack as the previous one that I showed you and had little boys. I had that embellishment for several years. So looks like I was just waiting for this child <laughs> so I could use some of my baby things finally. This was my last layout of day two. It was a two page layout and there were so many photos that were really really cute in this photo shoot that I did um, that I knew that I had to have them all. I had a really hard time picking out one photo and that just wasn't work wasn't working so you know don't limit yourself. Uh, just put your heart into the art of scrapbooking and if there are several photos that you just love, by all means, use them up. So here's a close-up of the first one. Uh, he has little dogs in his household. And I wanted to bring in the gold, or the green and the navy blue. And so this just seemed like a really cute... Um, uh, color palette to go with and I had that rocking horse ribbon in my stash for a hundred years. I bought that at uh, Michael's a long time ago as well as those little um, embellishments there. It says sweet on one and boy on the other and bear hugs at the bottom and I thought oh my goodness the journaling card had a bear. Oh that sounds good to me. He looks like a little leprechaun don't you think? <laughs> he was so cute. He was in such a good mood this day and so expressive. So I just went crazy with the camera and just stood over him and just started shooting. And since, as I mentioned before, um, I'm trying to use up things that say baby on it because as you know they grow up so so fast so anyway I think I had an excellent second day at the scrapbook retreat um, this is in addition to you know me giving classes to my group on mini albums cards jewelry and just plain enjoying what the ladies are creating so at the end of each day, I just add them to my little case here to keep them uh, protected. So I'm not sure how many layouts this is. I wanted to do uh, 20. Maybe this is halfway. I hope so. But anyway, I hope I make my goal of 20. So we'll see you tomorrow. And I'll just continue on and try and get these 20 layouts completed. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.